So this Saturday is my 25th high school reunion. Um, I can't believe it's been 25 years, uh, but then I look in the mirror and see all the gray and the wrinkles and then I realize, yes, it actually has been 25 years since I graduated high school. Um, and I went to the Moses Brown School in Providence, Rhode Island. And um, it's a, um, a nursery through 12th grade school. And um, I was a lifer, which means that I went um, from nursery all the way through 12. And um, um, I love the school. Um, it, uh, it means a lot to me that I'm an alumnus. Um, and uh, I'm certainly looking forward to catching up uh, with some old friends this weekend. Um, but I thought to myself, how can I incorporate uh, my 25th high school reunion into um, my, my cooking and baking series. And uh, Moses Brown is a Quaker school. And uh, one of the things we were known for in lower school uh, were our bake sales. And um, inevitably, uh, when you go to a Quaker school, uh, you're going to find um, oatmeal raisin cookies using Quaker oats um, on the menu. So um, having not been able to find any other Quaker uh, themed recipes um, in any of my cookbooks or online, uh, I have decided to go with the tried and true um, oatmeal raisin cookie. And um, to do that, uh, my first stop was to grab my first grade cookbook um, to check out the recipes. And there are things you would expect to find in a first grade cookbook, like applesauce and pumpkin seeds. And lo and behold, oatmeal cookies. And um, the recipe is a good one. Um, I have um, added some tweaks um, over the years. And uh, what I'm going to show you now is, is my basic oatmeal raisin cookie, which is not very far removed from uh, the kind that I apparently made uh, when I was in the first grade at Moses Brown. So um, let me take you through the steps. Um, we are going to start with two sticks of softened butter, three quarters of a cup of light brown sugar, three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, two eggs, one and three quarters of a cup all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, three cups of um, old-fashioned oats, Quaker oats, obviously, and one and a half cups of raisins. So the first thing we're going to do is cream the butter and the sugars together until they are light and fluffy in a stand mixer on medium speed. Okay, so the butter and the brown sugar and white sugar um, have been beating for about uh, three or four minutes and they're light and fluffy. And now I'm just going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. So I've added the vanilla. And now I'm just going to quickly scrape down the sides of the bowl. and then add my two eggs one at a time.
And while that's mixing together, um, in this bowl, I have sifted the flour, the baking soda, the salt, the cinnamon, and the nutmeg. And I should say, this is the basis for basically you know, most cookies. Um, the butter and uh, the sugars, and then you add the vanilla and the eggs and mix that together. And then you're going to mix in your dry ingredients. But um, you know, leaving out the uh, cinnamon and the nutmeg, um, you could put chocolate chips and walnuts into these cookies. You could you can really do anything. All right, so I've just whisked that together, and now I'm going to add the oats to that. And just, just stir that to combine. So now I'm just going to add this uh, dry mixture to the sugar egg mixture, and I'm just going to do it um, really just a little bit at a time. Uh, until the mixture is just incorporated. Okay, so I've put about a third of the dry mixture into the butter and the egg mixture, and now I'm just stirring until it's combined. And now I'll just add a little more, and I'll keep doing that until all the dry mixture is incorporated into the um, egg and sugar mixture. Um, and um, when I get to the last bit of the dry mix, I will mix it in um, just to combine. I don't want to overmix it. Okay, so my cookie batter um, is, uh, is all mixed. And now I'm just going to fold in by hand the one and a half cups of raisins. And you could do anything. You could do dried cranberries, any other dried fruit. Uh, you could add nuts, uh, chopped walnuts would be great in this. Um, but uh, we're just gonna stick to the tried and true oatmeal raisins. So I'm just gonna um, fold those in and um, again, you can bake these off right away. Um, you can uh, form them into balls and put them in a freezer bag and um, they'll freeze beautifully. Uh, you can pull them out whenever you want uh, to have a cookie. Um, so uh, I'm going to just uh, mix these raisins in and um, then we'll bake up a batch. Okay, so I baked a batch of the oatmeal raisin cookies at 350 degrees for about 12 minutes um, until they were uh, just golden and set. And uh, got one right here. Um, and I'm just gonna give it a taste. Mm. Mm. It's very good. Cookie is um, chewy but not overly sweet. Um, just your classic uh, oatmeal raisin cookie. So um, hope you'll give this a try. Um, I think you'll like it. And um, until next time.